White Sox taking on the Royals. Chicago looking to play spoiler for Kansas City's postseason hopes. Picking off bottom three, it's 2-1 White Sox. Bases loaded. Alex Gordon comes through with the two-run single against Chris Bassett. It scores Alcides Escobar and Nori Aoki. Makes it 3-2 Kansas City. Top four. Game is tied at three. Runners on the corners. Josh Fegley flies out against Jason Fraser. Andy Wilkins tags and scores from third on the play, and it's 4-3 Chicago. Bottom six, game is tied at four. Nori Aoki hits an RBI single off of Matt Lindstrom. Escobar comes in to score, and Kansas City moves in front. It's five to four. Top seven, Wade Davis inherited a jam from Kelvin Herrera. Now the bases are loaded with one out for Connor Gillespie. And there's a base hit. That's in the gap. That's all the way to the fence. And that's going to clear the bases. So a triple, a three-run triple by Gillespie. And the Sox lead it 7-5, to five. yes! That's all they'd get in the inning. Gillespie breaks Herrera and Davis's scoreless streaks, both had in a lateral run since June 24th and 25th, respectively. Bottom seven, Eric Surkamp deals to Eric Hosmer. Line drive to center, Adam Eaton coming in, and he makes a beautiful catch for the second out of the inning. Watch it one more time. Nice glove work by Eaton. Bottom of the ninth, Zach Putnam on for the save. He deals to Hosmer, who grounds one back to the pitcher's mound on a check swing, and Putnam takes care of it. Ball game is over. White Sox win 7-5. Kansas City used nine pitchers, a club record for a nine-inning game in a contest that lasted four hours, 16 minutes, the longest nine-inning game in Royals history. Adam Eaton had four hits, matching his career high, and scored two runs. And with the Tigers' loss on Tuesday, the Royals remain a game and a half behind them for the AL Central crown. But the Mariners won on Tuesday, so the Royals' lead for their second AL wildcard spot is at one game.